Hello, Daz Studio enthusiasts. This is Not From This World, and I want to welcome you back to my tutorial series. Now today I want to continue talking a little bit about the smoothing modifier. In my last video, I showed you how we can set up a smoothing modifier so that our character will press down and cause an indentation into our couch. Now what I want to talk about today is a little bit more complicated. We're still using the smoothing modifier, but what we want to do is we want to modify the couch so that we can have multiple characters or multiple objects on the couch pressing down on it. Now, if you didn't see my last video, just to really quickly sum this up, you can take your object that you want depressed, select it, in this case it is this sofa, we can come up to the edit, go to edit object, edit geometry, and then we can select this add smoothing modifier. And when we do that, it's going to create a morph that allows us to press our character down onto the sofa. And so if I select the sofa in the parameters tab, I can now scroll down. And when I scroll down, we have a collision item. The collision item I have selected is Milica. And, uh, she is pressing down onto the couch. She is pressing down onto the sofa and we're getting this impression in the sofa. Very cool, you can see her hand is actually doing it as well. That might need a little bit of adjustment, but overall, this is a cool, quick way to get some more realism into your scene. The problem with the smoothing modifier is you can only use one character or one item at a time. So if we add a second character, which I'm going to do, that character cannot collide with the couch along with Milica. Under the collision item, if we select it, we can only choose one item, which is where we have this issue. So there is a way around this. It's a little convoluted, but it does work. And I want to show you how you can make multiple items collide using the smoothing modifier. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add my second character into the scene. And this is Milika's little sister called Ronwyn. And I was looking at Ronwyn. I've used her a little bit, but oh my gosh, she's almost a twin to Milika. But this is actually a different character. So if you like how Milica looks, you may want to try and pick up Ronwyn. She is also a Genesis 8 character, and so she is a really cute figure as well. Now, in order to do this, I am going to set up my poses exactly the way that I want them. Because what we have to do is we have to take our two characters and we have to make them into one object. And we're gonna do this temporarily, but once we have the characters as one object, we can use it in the sofa collision and cause both characters to press down and morph the couch. So I have Ronwyn and Milica in the position that I want them. Make sure you get your poses right before you do this. I can change her upper body. I could move her head and change her eyes and things like that. That's no problem. But where we have the collision, like where uh, Ronwin's butt is and where Milica's butt is pressing down on the couch, we want to make sure that it's exactly the way that we like it. Otherwise, we're gonna have to just do this whole process over again. So once I have my characters in the pose that I like, I'm going to save because I have to say this, that Daz is notorious for crashing when we do this. So save often and that'll help you because if it does crash, you can go back into Daz 
and everything will be the way it was right before you uh, tried the collisions. Not sure why Daz has trouble with this, but it does. It's had it had this trouble for a long time. Now that I've got my poses in the right spot, I am going to hide everything in the scene except for the, my two characters. Now, I put them into a group, so the sofa, the room, everything is in one group and I'm just going to hide it. Once I hide it, I still have Ronwin and Milica selected. What we're going to do is we're going to export it out as an OBJ file. So that is a really simple process actually. You just go to File, go to Export, and then it's gonna open up a file folder where you wanna save it as. I'm just gonna save it as the Milica Ronwin OBJ. Make sure that you select where it says two here under Convert from DAS Studio. I always just select Blender. I've heard that it doesn't really matter which one you select as long as when you import it back in, you select the same thing. But we're gonna keep this simple and I'm just gonna select Blender and then I'm gonna hit accept. This is now gonna save the two figures as an OBJ file. Now, I don't know how much you've used OBJ in the past. I think I've shown you a few things you can do with OBJs. I believe I made a tutorial about a flag that's waving and I saved it as an OBJ. So you can check that video out to get a little more information on OBJ files, but Essentially what we've done is we've taken these two figures and saved it as one item as an OBJ. So now I'm just going to go back to file and I'm going to import that file back into the scene. So I have it under Blender Morphs. Here is the Milica Ronwin OBJ. I'm just going to select it, hit open and it's gonna come up with this tab. You have to make sure that you select under Convert to DAS Studio. The From needs to go back to Blender. And I have seen in the past where people are talking about how this is backwards and there's a problem with Blender. Uh, I have noticed that uh, at least now in 2025 with our new DAS Studio 4.23, you don't have to change anything else on this tab. Just hit accept. Now this is gonna load our OBJ into the scene. So our OBJ file of the two characters are now sitting right exactly on top of my real characters. Now I'm gonna save this at this point because this is where I've noticed that at some point Daz can get confused and I don't know exactly what goes on but we get crashes here so I'm just gonna save this in case it crashes and I'll have it ready to go instead of doing a bunch of repeat steps okay so now what's really cool is this Milica Ronwin OBJ file can now take the place of our characters so I can hide my characters. I'm just gonna hide Ronwin and Milica. And what we're looking at is the OBJ file. I can now open up my group and we've got the couch and we can now select under the sofa this OBJ file and the collision will now be with this one OBJ file instead of just Milica. So I'm gonna select the sofa. We're gonna come down to the parameters tab and in the sofa, I'm just gonna scroll down and our collision item is set for just Milica. We're gonna change that and we're gonna change it to the OBJ file. So the couch will then collide with both of our figures. It's this step where I've noticed that we have a crash sometimes. So instead of selecting our Milica Genesis 8, I'm gonna select the OBJ file under collision and we're gonna hit accept. Now you can see that we have a collision of both characters. Now this is really cool because I can hide this OBJ and you can see we've got these impressions in the couch. Because our OBJ file is in the exact pose as our characters, we can now just 
make our characters visible and they will be in the correct place where our sofa is being pressed. Now I did notice we do have a little bit of a issue with Ronwyn because her knee is a little bit pressed against the couch. So I might just take her and just slightly move her out to get rid of that issue. You can make small adjustments to the poses, but I wouldn't try and make any big movements now because then we're just gonna have to go back in and save a new OBJ. And so I just kind of moved her out slightly so that we wouldn't have that collision in her knee. All right, so now both the characters are colliding with the couch. And see, we can move their upper bodies. Like I can move Ronwin's head. This is no big deal because it's not affecting the couch any. And I just think this is a really kind of cool way to do it. Now, if you set up a next picture, you're gonna have to do the same OBJ thing again. Like if I move them closer together or something, I'm gonna have to save multiple OBJs for every pose. But at this point, they are looking good. We got more realism with our couch. And this is how we can collide multiple objects using the smoothing modifier. All right, I hope this helped you out. I wish that Daz Studio could figure out an easier way to do some of these things. You know, if we could just have Daz recognize that the character is sitting down on the couch and just have this smoothing modifier built in, that would be awesome. But unfortunately, we still have to do all of these little tricks. So I am going to render these girls up and make a thumbnail. So don't forget to like, subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, I would really appreciate that. You got to slam that subscribe button. It really helps out my little channel. And don't forget to comment. I'd like to hear what you use the smoothing modifier for and any suggestions that you have that can improve my work. I greatly appreciate. All right, until next time, have a wonderful day. Happy rendering.